Good morning, folks. The Departed Sunspot continues firing on the far side. We had a special video last night and hope to get another out to you tonight. Couple key articles as well. The Departing Sunspot group is where we begin. Significant plasma action seen at the limb where it turned away. That active region continued the August uptick we've been waiting for and produced a huge CME that luckily is not heading our way. This blast will miss Earth but is giving Venus a direct impact today. Enlil Spiral confirms its trajectory towards the other side of the solar system. We still have large coronal holes that will provide enhanced solar wind in the coming days, and we have that sunspot group on the south which has been exceptionally quiet despite its enormous size and magnetic complexity, which is actually becoming more complex as we speak with a second gamma region developing at the forward positive spot. Negative separated group remains near the northern caboose of the grouping. Just a touch of eye candy here to begin. Simulations are showing that the X-shaped radio galaxies may form fairly simply. Infalling gas is split by the jets, and on either side of the split, they shine in radio waves. 10% of all radio galaxies take that X shape. Last night, we answered one of your questions from the contact form at suspiciousobservers.org and ran down the basics of the cycle disaster event and what to expect with a directive on where to learn more and get 97% of your questions answered before you begin commenting. Last part didn't stick for some, but okay. A couple days ago, we released this special evening video discussing the galactic current sheet, and that is where our other articles come round today. From previous videos and our books, we had heard the best guess that the wavelength of the current sheet is about 50 light years, although that obviously would be variable as the spiral wave bunches at the outer portion of the galaxy and the amplitude goes from about 200 light years tall near the galactic center to over 500 light years tall at the outskirts. Today, we're getting a very different guess at the wavelength, albeit confined to about 8,000 light years from the core, which is about a third of the distance our sun is from the galactic center, and they are guessing its wavelength is closer to 2,000 light years. I'm guessing that's a bit big, and that would mean there are only about 12 or 13 wave peaks between us and the galactic center. But to be honest, I don't care if that's right or wrong, only that the spiral wave of the current sheet exists, and astronomers care enough to study it. Looking at the wave engulfing our system now, boy, that's a great explanation for the latest problem with Voyager. It already detected so much of the evidence, including the pressure fronts, and apparently it began having anomalies recently whose origin the team can't figure out, even after they managed to fix the problem. The effect of taking the current sheet is as good a guess as any at this stage. And as always, links to the playlist and other key resources is below the video in the description box. Again, we're trying to get another special video out to you this afternoon or this evening. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.